In this video, I'm going to show how to make molded salt bread cinnamon ornaments. Start with one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of regular table salt, and three quarters of a cup of ground cinnamon and whisk that all together. Then add three quarters of a cup of water, mix it around with a spoon, and then I put it into my stand mixer with the paddle attachment. I tried both the dough hook and the paddle attachment and I felt like the paddle attachment worked the best. The dough is gonna be crumbly, but make sure when you put it in your fist, it will hold together. Dump it out onto a lightly floured surface and knead the dough together. My dough was a little bit crumbly, so I added a bit more water, about a teaspoon at a time, until it shouldn't feel wet or sticky, but it shouldn't be as crumbly as you see it in the video. I made this dough yesterday and it wasn't as crumbly, so that just happens with baking sometimes. But you can see I could squeeze it together in my fist and it held together. And then I press it down in a mold using my hands and this pastry cutter or a bench scraper, and then carefully lift the dough out of the mold. Those windmill blades would sometimes break off, and then if you just take a little bit of water, you can stick them back on, and that'll be just fine. So again, I push them down in the mold with my hands, push them with the bench scraper, and then I lift it out with the bench scraper and my hands gently. and I used all the dough. I was able to make 15 of these ornaments. And then I poke a hole in the top of each one with a toothpick, but you can use just about anything, a straw or barbecue skewer or whatever, and then cook them in the oven on 200 degrees for 30 minutes, face side up, turn them over and cook them for another 30 minutes and I put them on a cooling rack to cool and then use a tapestry needle to string on some ribbon. The reason why I flipped them over halfway through baking is because the salt rises to the top of the dough, which is what gives them that really interesting kind of variation in the color. I hope you enjoy making these ornaments.